Friday night, I want a chippy tea. Chippy tea, chippy tea, I want a chippy tea. Oh, you keep giving me posh, no, she don't agree with me. I don't want lobster thermidor with a raspberry coulee. It's Friday night, I'm within me right. Hi, chippy tea, chippy tea, here we are at Merch Ops yeah, with Rice. Um, we're in the middle of Florida, it's goddamn hot. Um, and we are going to start with a little bit of a shop tour, uh, a little bit of a walk around merch shops, which most people want to do because we're all nosy. We don't want to have a look in everybody else's shop. Um, Bryson is not really allowed out in the community, otherwise he'd go visit other shops as well. So, uh, it's going to be one of those kinds of other It is, yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're in the screen room, we're starting off in here, and we have, of course, all the coated screens labelled because... Bryce is a label freak like me. Nothing goes through here without having a label on. There's absolutely no point. We've got stacks of coated screens. This is humidity controlled, is it? Yes. Yeah, and we're what, about? Uh, 35%. 35% humidity. There's no fan in here. There's nothing moving the air around. It's nice and clean. We have a Dalfit wax unit. And how long does this take to image a screen? Full size image about a minute, minute and a half. About a minute, minute and a half to image the screen. No films, no positives, just straightforward putting wax directly onto the screens. So that's this here, and then from here, they go into this lovely little letterbox that goes through the wall. Um, I, I actually like this unit because it's so simple. And what we basically do is as the screen comes out of there, into here. No glass, because we don't need any glass. And then it's just straightforward exposed with a metal halide light. Why metal halide? Why have you not gone to LED? Uh, we still think metal halide's the best. It is. It's the strongest. It's just a little bit expensive, hot, um, hot to run, expensive to run, expensive when the, when the bulb comes out. But other than that, for the emulsion, it's the best. Yeah. yeah. I must admit, I think I'm with you there. I mean, we'll probably do LED at some point, or probably laser at some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> John's, John doesn't if, watch. If John, no, if John's listening, he'll be, he'll be knocking on the door if he's going to buy a laser, so you're all right. And then it basically goes straight through the wall and pops out the other side. So, yeah, so we're, we're set up with a wet room and a dry room. So we've yeah. got the dry room where all the screen storage is, and then this would be the wet room where we wash out the screens or coat. Yeah, so basically yeah. Come, comes out of the uh, out of the Dalfit exposure at this side that I just pulled the lip, the front off. Goes into the dip tank. Danny loves the dip tank, don't you? And due to Danny's rules, how long is it in the dip tank? Uh, no more than a minute. Hey, see? You're having an effect, Danny. <laughs> and then straightforward developing at low pressure. Low pressure. Uh, yeah. Pressure yeah. Just Low, low pressure. Oh, he, he means a low pressure low wash. Pressure. And obviously, we've got it's a nice... It's a skilled operator, Danny. It's yeah. not about the pressure. <laughs> Exposure to water, if you don't mind. <laughs> and then we've got a, a nice little... Is it a Sati unit? Sati. Sati double coater. Uh, presume it's got coating trough at the front and at the back. Yep. Yeah? So we've got coating trough at the front, coating trough at the back. What are you doing? One on one? Two on one? One on one. One on one on everything. One on one on everything. We're Ooh. still kind of dialing that in. The, the the coder came with rounded troughs. We got a couple of sharp ones. Uh, we think we're putting a little too much emulsion down. Well, what do you mean rounded troughs? That 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 means that there may be two kinds of edge to a trough, and we both know there's only one kind of edge <laughs> to a trough. <laughs> the sharp edge. And what emulsion are we using? Uh, from the line. From the line. Yep. Not really any water based here, though, is there? No, zero. No. Zero, not even, not even a small percentage. It's like zero. So well, then we come into the main shop. Bit of an overview of the main shop. We have an oval, six color. Six color. Eight. Six color. Ten stations. Ten, ten pallets, six color. Yeah. And it's just two at the front, two at the back, empty. We've got a 12, 14 and a 10, 12. We've got a little compact here that services just the oval. Just the oval. Just the oval. Uh, and then as we walk up here, in the swampy temperatures, we've got the oval. Not being used at the moment. Perfect for print flash print. 
for print press colour. Yeah. Uh, nice little single colour jobs that don't take up a big press. It's just as fast. Uh, it could probably do you run it with one operator? Do you tend to run it with one uh, to two operators? Run everything with two. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And we'll run four colours on this one on wet. Uh, so that's good. Yeah. You know, it, it still works. Yeah. Um, everything's good with it. And then we come to the beast. Which is just massive. It's like Danny's wet dream. <laughs> We're currently running another job. Ah, I thought we finished this job. Okay, we had another cart full to run. So it's a nice little eight colour job. Um, got a couple of flashes on there because why the hell not? We've got them, let's use them. Uh, it's running perfectly. Alec is. Uh, around about 20 minutes into being a loader so he's a little bit nervous but he's doing okay we look at the look of concentration on his face that's the quietest alec has ever been by the way it's the quietest he's ever been yeah <laughs> because he's concentrating and i've just been shouting at yes. him to make him load faster so we're going to squeeze past here we shouldn't do on the line alec on the line there we go look so we've got a nice little white base running what ink we using? Uh, this is going to be um, either Street Fighter 2 Low Bleed or Rutland 2, but I think this is probably Street Fighter. You mean Premier? Yeah, Premier. <laughs> <laughs> Brits are all the same. <laughs> we got the flashes running on temperature, not time, because why in the hell not? So we got a set temperature of 95, and when the press gets to that temperature, that's when it cuts off and moves on. We've got a roller to make sure that the um, the white is nice and flat. You like the roller? Love it. Love it. Love the roller, love the iron. Yeah. yeah I would best. almost say you won't run a job without an iron, a roller or an iron, will yeah. you? Yeah. 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 Pretty much love it. And then we've got colours going around. Little flash there just to keep everything nice and dry. Horrible pink. A berry, another flash, and then a black and a top white. And then we have... Yep. A lovely print. With a horrible cameraman. Okay, so then we have a 1012. Yep. 1012 uh, S-Type Extreme. It's also running very similar sort of jobs. Everything is sort of usually a base with up to six colours yeah. average. And then we've got the car wash. Danny loves the car wash. So talk us through the process as a job comes off the press. Well, the job comes off the press, obviously it all gets clean. That's, a, that's an emulsifiable screen wash. Don't come out ready to coat. Don't believe the salesman. No machine makes them ready to coat. 90%. 90%. I, I'll accept 90%. I'll go with that. But also, I'm going to throw a disclaimer in. A bit of a chippy tea disclaimer. Merch shops are meticulous with the cleanliness of the screens that go in. So, it's like the dishwasher technique. It, it's, it's the same thing in that if we just cake the screens up with shitty ink, 
and throw them in this end. Yes, we'll get them clean, but I'll use so much chemicals. It'll go off in a month. I'll have to constantly monitor it. And I'll, that 90% will come down to 80% that only clean. And the 20% I have to go back through, which again uses more chemicals. So it's a, it's a cycle of if you're not prepared to do a little bit of preparation before they go in the press, then be prepared to use more chemicals and put them through more than once. Is yeah, that a fair? Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely fair. yeah, yeah. The, the, I'd love to say I, I have got some customers that take these dirty screens, put them in at that end, and it does work for them. But they do use a lot more chemicals than these guys use. These guys typically use the least amount of chemicals of anybody with a with a pre um, with a, a, a reclaim unit. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Suppliers so hate them. <laughs> <laughs> and we like our we like clean screens. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, See a lot of shops in there. Aluminum? Aluminium. I'll teach you how to say it properly. It's okay. yeah, I'll never learn that one. <laughs> I mean, we like a clean screen. We look at our screens. I mean, uh, I can tell you that this screen is probably three years old. Yeah. Maybe four. And nothing on the outside. Nothing at all. on the outside. Three so, years old. Yeah. And, and that's. I think that's fair to share, say of this shop from the very top all the way to the canteen. Everything's clean as a matter of course. The floor's clean, everything's spotless. I'm not gonna show you the floor because it's filthy, but. <laughs> it does need a sweep. It does, yeah. yeah. But it's busy, it's a busy shop. So then we come to the squeegee station. I, I visit shops and sometimes they don't even have a table to clean squeegees on. So here we have, I'm gonna call it a pre-wash. You probably won't agree with that, Bryce, but it is a pre-wash. Yeah, yeah, so it's, um, What's in the chemical? Uh, so straightforward press wash, no, yeah, water. no water. Okay, and that gets recycled and, and filtered and back in, and that's on a on like a pass washer system, but it's air driven because I presume it's got a flash point. Yeah. Uh, and then what that does is remove the bulk of the ink. The bulk of the ink is removed, and then it goes into the dishwasher. The dishwasher. The dishwasher. Yeah. And we got about a two minute cycle? Uh, I think it's a five minute cycle. Five I think minute cycle. Have a so, five minute cycle goes in here, lid down. It's unattended cleaning, which means there's nobody stood here scrubbing it. All right, there's somebody priming it there, but it's just a quick wash, prime. Don't have to dry it, don't have to use any rags. And then it goes into here, gives a good spin. Five minutes later, it's done. And then they don't need anything. Right. Yeah. Don't need anything. That, that, and that's the key. Yeah. And while, sure. while that's washing, Jesse's still stripping screens. I think that's the key. So it only takes one person to handle the whole back area. Reclaim, be tape, be ink, clean, squeaky, blood bars. And, and it's, it's Jesse who's over there. Yeah. And usually that guy is the most stressed guy in the shop. And Jesse's not. And well, it's not his personality. It's just... He knows exactly what he's got to do. Every task is the same. So we've automated and made exactly the same all the process and the task. So that's, that's a good thing. The, the other nice thing about this whole process, the dishwasher and the auto reclaim, is it takes people out of the chemical. Uh, they're not exposed to all of that chemical all day long. And, I, and I've done, I've reclaimed my share of screens thousands and thousands with a dip tank and a pressure washer. It's horrible. And it's soaked, it's, it's horrible. And a parts washer with mineral spirits, which eat my arms alive. Yeah, it, pro uh, it proper sucks. Yeah, and, and now we've got to the point where nobody minds coming back to do any of this stuff. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. It's no. easy and it's fast. Yeah, basically. So, okay? Yeah. We done? Yeah. Yeah. Friday night, I'm within me right, so I want to chip in tea.